it's been a rainy week in the garden. We've had close to two inches of rain. I think by the time that the rain's done with, we'll have two inches total. So I haven't had to water much, any really for the last week. Because I have so much extra time right now, I figure it's the perfect time to do some experimenting. I've already been running this experiment where I pile up basically just fish remains, what's left after I fillet them. And I put some wood chips underneath, put some wood chips on top. I'm hoping that I end up with some compost, but if not, then I'll end up with some nice nutrient rich mulch. So let's see how that's going. But before that, I got to show you a deal that I got that got me moving through this experiment. I went to Walmart and I looked and they had these one and a half cubic foot bags of organic wood chip mulch on for a dollar fifty a bag. So naturally I got two pallet loads. <laughs> that totals out to about thirty dollars a yard and so that's really not a bad price. It's a really good price for bagged but I can't really get it bulk here and that makes this an even better deal. You might be asking well where's that second pallet. They couldn't load it all in one go and so the other half that you would expect to be here is over here at the end of my garden. I had to throw the bags off in a hurry to get back before they shut down the garden center so this is all going to get unbagged and piled up somewhere to break down and use as I need it. The other pallet I'm not sure what's going to happen with it just yet. But for now, I'm using it for some experiments. This experiment, like I said, has been going on for about a week now. And all that I'm doing is taking the carcasses from cleaning fish and I've been stacking them. This hadn't got any rain because I've kept it covered. But I've just stacked them on top of a bed of wood chips and piled more wood chips on top and it seems to be working pretty good there's not a whole lot of smell to it and that is a looks like a completely broken down catfish head It's just falling right apart. And we got some more down in there, but there's really not much to it. It's only been in here a week and it's completely broken down to bones. I didn't go out of my way to come over here and see if it smelled. But while I was out in the garden, I never thought to myself, boy, that really stinks. So it must not be that bad. I've got some more fish that I'm gonna throw in here. We'll keep the process rolling. I've got a cooler here with three catfish and two crappie. I just took the fillets off of them and I left the skin in the cooler with them. Now, I don't know how this would work on a larger scale I assume things would get a lot stinkier because there's more to break down. But so far it seems like this is working fine. I've seen people do the same exact thing with a deer. I've seen some literature talking about how to do it with cattle whenever you have to have a cattle cull because of whatever diseases get in cattle and uh, you know, this is a method that's described relatively widely but I never do see many people talking about it in videos so I thought I'd try it out for myself and it seems to be working all right so far I'm gonna stack most of another bag of wood chips if not the whole thing on top of these guys i'll cover it up and hopefully after a while I end up with some good compost
from the looks of what I had in there last week, that should be plenty enough wood chips. If you want to get really technical with this, every one pound of carcass that you want to compost down, you need about four pounds of wood chips. But I'm just kind of piling it on. I know one of these bags weighs about 15 pounds, 10 or 15 pounds. And so I know I have too much wood chip here, too much carbon material. Whatever doesn't end up breaking down though, will still make fine mulch. So I'm not real worried about it. More than anything, I just don't want these fish to go to waste because normally they'd get eaten up by raccoons. That would breed more raccoons because there'd be more food for them. And then my corn would get eaten worse next year. So I think this is gonna be the thing to do. I'm sure that raccoons would get into this and possums and whatever else might come around, but I just cover it up with a big black watering trough and that seems to do the job for me. Nothing got in here in the last week. I'm gonna go ahead and get this covered up with my tote, my watering trough, and I'll show you how that looks. I'm tempted to put some water in here, but I didn't water it in last week and it's totally broken down a week later, so I think I'm gonna skip that. I don't want things to get too fast and get too funky smelling. The more water the bacteria has, the more active it's going to be, and I think the slower this breaks down, the better. I could be wrong there, but I think there's so much material, so much nitrogen-rich material when it comes to fish, I'll probably end up with too hot of a pile, and it'll go anaerobic. All the good bacteria will die off in the heat. So let's get this covered up with it just dry like it is right now, and we'll see how that looks. And that's what I'm working with. I actually found this where I was fishing one day. So it's a free covering, free rainwater catcher. All sorts of goodness has come from what somebody didn't want just because it got a little bit busted up here. Now that I know that works, it's gonna be an ongoing process. I'll show some updates here and there, but for the most part, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I know I enjoyed putting some fish waste to good use over there and seeing that the experiment is already kicking off pretty good. And I'll see you in the next one.